A major change for Greenville City Council as two incumbents lost their seats to young newcomers who are banking on improving life for a younger generation in the city. WNCT's Katie Harden has the story of how one new council member is stepping up for ECU. A lot of young people run. Uh, most of them lose. But not 23-year-old McLean Godley. After graduating from ECU only a year ago, Godley set his sights on political office. McLean Godley was really effective, especially with a lot of young voters, in suggesting that he would be very different. And ultimately, those young voters would make the difference. Godly defeated incumbent Marion Blackburn, who served the 3rd District since 2009, before Godly started school at East Carolina. Godly says his focus has always been on improving Greenville for the Pirates, who helped him win. The students of ECU bought into the process. They never heard anyone come by before and say, hey, what are your wants? What are your needs? What are your concerns? And they were really open to that because I think a lot of those, you know, a lot of folks, you know, the majority of our students are from outside of Greenville and, and they see the impact that students bring to this community. Godley's former political science professor, Tom Amon, says the race demonstrates the power of the people. McLean Godley and to a degree uh, other candidates in this race who won this time like PJ Connolly are rather young individuals and so this suggests the influence that students and very recent students can have if they are really mobilized. And as one of the youngest members to ever serve on Greenville City Council, Godley plans to use that momentum to speak up for a group that he believes was overlooked in the past. It's going to change once and for all. We're going to have representation and their voices will finally be heard because the students of ECU make a huge impact in this community. And without them, you know, this town would be radically different. In Greenville, Katie Harden, 9 on your side. The new council will meet officially for the first time in December.